was just walking back home and uh, and they these two men they followed me and they just kept calling me corona and first i you don't register i mean i thought they were just talking or they're just like you know yapping because they come from a certain place and we look i we have no connection whatsoever to china right like we don't want to be part of china we sing janagana mana we are as much indian as we are as you would be a faridun would be a nadeem would be you know received apology letters from people apology Uh, you know from uh, you know in my dms and emails and things like that saying that uh, we have been part of uh, a casual racism and we we apologize for that and that touched my heart so deeply I've done ads for Malaysia, Indonesia more than Indian <laughs> ads I've done more ads for Southeast Asian Lynn, welcome on Bollywood Angama. Thank you, thank you. Congratulations for a great response for Akone. I saw the film and um, Shayoni was outstanding. And when I saw the film, I I tweeted and uh, mentioned about you as well because uh, your performance was a, was a complete surprise as far as I'm concerned. Now, um, it is it is unfortunate that you've been around for quite some time, but it, it takes a movie like Akone, for example, um, for for the whole country uh, to take note of it. Why did it take such a long time for you? <laughs> I wish I had that answer, and <laughs> that answer needs to be answered by all these Bollywood directors and producers. <laughs> and why did it take so long to, uh, you know, give me job? Um, for Idun, it's uh, like you know, I, I, it's unfortunate that uh, they have not, you know, uh, gone and explored the northeast, uh, you know, as much as uh, you know it should have been long back. Um, <clears throat> there are a lot of talented people a lot of people are from nsd you know there are a lot of students from nsd uh, from northeast in nsd uh, studying alumni like you know we have uh, kanhaiya lal we have uh, ratan thiam who are like you know really great theater artists but there hasn't been much uh, you know uh, uh, to do in the bollywood um, but it's opening up now there are a lot of scripts or uh, you know have written uh towards you know it's going east hopefully now and uh last hour is one of the show that's on amazon which was uh, shot entirely in arunachal pradesh and rangoon was one of the film that was shot in uh you know uh, in uh, arunachal and assam and all of that so i hope with this uh, you know uh, venturing into northeast you know they'll start taking up more or not eastern actors and you know creative people from there so just not the script this is not the story but you know actually involving people into uh, their projects no, absolutely i I've, i've been to meghalaya i've been to sikkim oh wow i've been to assam a few times so it's a, it's it's stunning beautiful so uh, but one thing that that people have um, a bit of concern is connectivity part apart i think there should be more airports and uh, i think that is something that that is bad no oh uh, except for few uh, states connectivity wise like you know uh, guwahati has one then imphal has one tripura agartala uh, except for arunachal and meghalaya uh, rest like you know it's very good now we have trains come up manipur has a train uh, station now you know so uh, yeah it's improving it's improving like as we you know discussing this like you know there are a lot of improvements even as uh, if you've gone to meghalaya from guwahati to shillong the roads have been much better you know yeah it is it is very much ha uh, it's better it's not as great as uh, you know uh, delhi or bangalore or you know maharashtra because i mean it's difficult it's you know the mountain the terrains all of that it's difficult but it's getting along coming no, along yeah. I, i went from shillong to uh, to cherapunji and uh, the road was pretty good wow uh, the, the entire scenario was was amazing wow. uh, you were part of uh, rangoon as well yes right so you you you've done several roles you you were part of merikom as well you were there in rangoon too um now uh, in in merikom for example there is this this outburst of yours that 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 people really liked uh right. but you're uh, personally of the opinion that maybe uh, someone from northeast should have actually played mercom that that's that's what your opinion is <laughs> uh 
I don't know. Like, you know, this question has been asked me, like, you know, as an actor, like, you know, the, that actor, uh, that self-centered, <laughs> egoistic actor <laughs> tells me that I should have been. Um, but it could have been anybody from the Northeast. We have many great actors, to be precise. Like, you know, I, I, I want to be generous here and say this, that, you know, there were many, many uh, uh, actors who could have done this. But, uh, yeah, I mean, but uh, the casting and the whole team and everything, everybody decided on someone else. So it's, it's, it's heartbreaking, but we are coming along and uh, I hope that this does not happen again because uh, in a lot of, a lot of time we're stereotyped, the casting mainly is stereotyped and, you know, and, uh, and we are stuck to very little, uh, you know, very little, like small genre of our own, but that's also stereotyped and not in the best manner. And uh, when a script like that comes up from, a, you know, a place, from our place and you know it would be great to be you know made given to somebody who's you know more eligible and who's close to that land and you know because it helps no definitely so um when i saw when i saw akone there was a personal resonance in that film and i'll tell you why so um when i was doing my course in journalism uh, in delhi and and after that um, when i was working in delhi uh, so i was staying as a, as a, as a pg in in lajpat nagar in delhi and um, there were two more boys. One was from Nepal. And uh, so he was, uh, he was staying uh, with us. And there was another guy from Guwahati. So I've, I've heard their conversations. I've heard their, uh, their grievances. That what is it that, that they don't like about the way they are treated? And uh, how heartbreaking it can be for, right. for them. So and when I saw the film and uh, the sort of experiences that you guys have had in the film, the way it has been shown, that's something that I could... That I could find a resonance that it, it, it's, it may seem uh, simple, but um, it, is, it is quite deep-seated because one who's suffering it uh, can, can only understand how the entire othering element happens, that maybe you guys don't belong and you can be taken advantage of, be it um, uh, physically or, or sexually or even, even otherwise. That has been portrayed in a, in a very, very honest manner. Um, what sort of feedback did you personally get for the film and your, and your personal performance? It was overwhelming. I never expected this film to be uh, to reaching out to so many people. And I thought it was for us, for the Northeasterners. You know, the film was made for us. It was a tribute to us. But no, it was uh, widely accepted, not only in India, but even in America. Like, I remember uh, Americans writing to me say, saying that, like, you know, we didn't know this exists. Like, you know, discrimination on basis of racism and things like that. So it was eye-opener for a lot of cultures, a lot of people, you know, not only Indian. But also, uh, I felt overwhelmed with the response of a lot of other people, rest of India, you know. like And I've received apology letters from people, apology you know, from, uh, you know, in my DMs and emails and things like that, saying that uh, we have been part of uh, a casual racism and we're, we apologize for that. And that touched my heart so deeply. And I felt so good that, you know, people are realizing people, I mean, we are not aware of things when we say something to other people, it could hurt somebody, you know, but because it becomes so casual. So for me, the longest time, like, you know, I've lived in Bombay for the long, I grew up in Bombay, I've been here since 2001. And like, people used to call me names, people used to call me things, you know, like, you know, whatever they come up with. And I felt like, like, you know, why do I have to fight every damn person on the road? But it didn't stop there. What it leads to is it's like a crescendo. It keeps increasing, you know, you know, so there was one girl killed long back when we were in high school or something. Uh, in uh, at Gateway of India, a Manipuri girl was uh, slit by somebody on the road, you know, and somebody on the Kolaba Causeway, because I used to live in town, uh, Marine Drive, so somebody touched me, you know. So, like, so many incidents, uh, and it goes connection with, the, it's connected with the casual racism as well, and people don't realize it. 
So this film, what it did was it created a lot of awareness pe- to people who watch films, and people also have seen watched it only to understand our culture and understand what we are going through. You know, not uh, you know a film lover or anything. So it was educational for a lot of people. And I'm glad it was. It didn't cover a lot of things, you know. For us, like you know, we do have many other, uh, you know, struggles that that happens. But it didn't cover. But it has started a conversation about our people, about our culture, uh, in the metro cities, and made some kind of noise. So I'm glad, you know. I'm glad that this happened. This movie happened. Definitely. And uh, talking about the casual racism part, even recently, as uh, recent as 2020, I believe you. experienced in your own housing society where you live in mumbai that, that someone called you as corona corona virus. yeah yeah i was just walking back home and uh, and they these two men they followed me and they just kept calling me corona and first it, i you don't register i mean i thought they were just talking or they just like you know yapping so they kept saying the name and they, you know and they were getting closer so i mean luckily like you know i my like you know i had to get inside the building so it didn't really affect me but if it was someone else you know like you know if it was dark or if they had something in their mind you know i could have been a victim or i could have been uh, you know harassed but things like that and it's not only me there are many others uh, you know other people uh, like students for instance like you know during the covid-19 lockdown in bangalore they were denied of grocery you know because they looked a certain way the, the girls were spat on in delhi and in bombay they were spat on and uh, you know people were harassing them throwing them out of their uh, you know pgs and hostels and you know from bangalore and calcutta and all these places so it's it's a very vast way of uh, you know uh, layers and layers of discrimination that happens in the country and it's very unfortunate to be uh you know to happen to us in our own country yeah it was very uh disturbing right and uh, last year when the chinese aggression was taking place uh, gatta jwala she she shared how she was trolled because mm-hmm. her mom is is chinese and uh, she was she was trolled because of that so did you face any sort of um, aggression at that point of time when um... no aggression i didn't really feel but uh but i felt like you know i mean why would you associate it? this happened in america also you know people were pushed like even till now like you know the asians are pushed because they look a certain way well uh, like people have to be careful of you know because they come from a certain place and we look i we have no connection whatsoever to china right like we don't want to be part of china we sing janagana mana we are as much indian as we are as you would be a faridun would be a nadim would be you know but why to make us feel like this way in our own country so this was something very uh, you know disturbing and it didn't like i was telling you about this casual racism part it didn't hit us so hard you know like till it was ca- casual but when it took a notch higher too like you know then i felt like oh my god what ever i've been going through because there's no awareness whatsoever and they think that it's fine to be you know calling us names uh, so they took a notch higher and they started harassing people so if we cut it out where the root is you know and create awareness that like these people are also part of india these people are as indian like you know uh, we are indians i can't be calling uh, you know bangladesh my country or burma my country so the awareness it lacks awareness is uh, lacking uh, you know of this whole system is uh, you know in our education system is uh, what we need to look up right so when it comes to acting roles um, you're a trained actor from from new york uh, film academy from what i understand yes not right. film academy um from sedla adlers All right. So many a times, actors from northeast they they considered for roles for for Chinese people or so Japanese, for example. But maybe uh, more films ought to be made about stories of northeast. Yes. 
we have to we have to uh, like i've done ads for malaysia indonesia more than indian <laughs> ads i've done more ads for southeast asian like malaysia thailand <laughs> indonesia and things like that it's funny because like they like in ads like you know they have they want to shoot in one location so they have like indian actor then they have the indonesian they have the malaysian so like i can see like the indian actors and i'm shooting from malaysian like even though i'm i'm indian so it's funny like you know sometimes i take it on a lighter note and i just laugh it out like no kya kar sakte but uh, it's high time that our people uh, start including uh, our own people हम कोई गैर नहीं है कि यू नो आप हमको ऐसे लाइक यू नो यू ओवर लुक अस बट समथिंग दैट्स यू नो अ पॉजिटिव चेंज दैट्स बीन हैपनिंग इन द इंडस्ट्री एंड रीसेंट शो कॉल यू नो फैमिली मैन टू वी सी द मिलियन एक्टर्स स्पीकिंग तमिल एंड रिसीविंग सो मेनी एक्टर्स इट आई मीन it's great that i don't i don't talk tamil or you don't talk tamil like we don't understand but we didn't mind the script because it was inculcated so well and written so well each character the girl was uh, samantha she was so good and other those other characters they didn't speak a word of hindi but we enjoyed watching it you know so it's not bound like we just have to open our eyes and accept and you know inclusivity is you know something that we need to work on and i feel it's coming i feel a very strong positive energy that you know everybody has been uh, you know doing uh, you know different venturing into different cultures different states you know i think it's coming and i'm very positive about that because they're going to northeast too in northeast no, definitely and uh, now um, when it comes to uh, ott platforms uh, Akone is a film that has reached the world because of of being on Netflix, um, and you're talking about uh, Family Man too that 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 came on Amazon and was seen all across the world, the fourth most watched I apparently seen yeah. in the world, which is a huge achievement. So, do you feel that uh, the sort of um, inclusivity that's the word that you've used that mm-hmm. maybe um, OTT platforms they are they are practicing. at least till now right uh do you think it can it can possibly lead to more stories coming out from northeast and would you want to take the lead considering that you've been in the industry for quite some time would you want to put together a project maybe that is that is talk that that is telling stories of northeast like an anthology maybe aap aapke muh mein ghee shakkar if i want to say this of course this is what i've been doing why why did i stick around for so long is because of this i don't want to be playing uh, you know I, i i mean i could have stayed in new york to be precise and you know, i could have stayed in new york done kept modeling and you know kept trying but i wanted to be part of this big uh, world you know larger than life uh, you know industry uh, and it's a and it has immense power to spread awareness and i love my culture you know i love my people i love my land and i want to bring it up to you know bring it to the world to understand you know make them understand invite them over understand us you know and of course if there is a script going there definitely i want to be considered for uh because this is what i've been sticking around for and not only uh, you know to be played uh, only not is no but also being considered for different as an indian you know it the sma ki not is ki hai hai you know that also yes it helps in that positive stereotyping but uh, but also like you know being cast as a normal indian girl why not there are so many people you know who have come and lived here and you know just like you know just not a manipuri or just not a not is no is what i feel so someone like danny saab he normalized the entire idea of of what being an indian is all about so um he he has not done too many roles which are really portraying him in in any sort of maybe northeast uh, light right let me say chinese or japanese or any any other other light works he right. looked as normal as possible he, he he was very good with urdu and um, he he has been accepted by the whole country what do you think uh, is is the job of the actors from northeast 
that they need to do so that they they become more acceptable because they have the example of of Danny Saab that it is possible. It's not something that is that has not been done in the past, and he's as so, mainstream as it gets. Like he has done some huge yeah. films. Yeah. So I feel language is something that uh, you know that has um, helped uh, Danny Saab to you know uh, to br- break that stereotype and to be just cast as you know a, a, a human being like as a man as an actor not as like in not is say hey you know as you said ki kahi aur se but as like you know as an individual as a man to mujhe aisa lagta hai ki but that was a you know a few decades ago but abhi kya ho raha as i pointed out to you like you know speaking of the million and kashmiri in the first season of uh, family man it's a very good example i want to take uh, that has you know th- that show has broken that uh, you know uh, uh, that thing of being speaking hindi only or or certain or urdu only you know but it could be like we watch so many foreign films and we don't mind it right we watch so many uh, you know uh, world cinema we don't mind it because the storyline you know because the actors are so good uh, so hindi like when i got in the industry last uh, i mean 10 years back i was told that aapko hindi aana hi aana hai aapko thodi bahut urdu aani hai because you have to you have to speak like the rest of uh, people for you to be accepted so my major example i was given was uh, danny sir कि आपको ऐसे बात करना है तभी आपको एक्सेप्ट करेंगे मैंने की लाइक यू नो आई स्पीक वेरी गुड हिंदी आई स्पीक लाइक यू नो अ बिट ऑफ लाइक यू नो आई कैन प्रोनाउंस फ्यू वर्ड्स ऑफ उर्दू बट दिर इट रियली हेल्प देन आई शुड हैव गॉटन यू नो सच अ स्लैक ऑफ टाइम टू गेट वर्क देन बिकॉज आई स्पोक हिंदी वेरी वेल फ्रॉम द बिगिनिंग बिकॉज दैट्स द फर्स्ट थिंग आई डिड इन द इंडस्ट्री so it's beyond that for i do to to be i mean i'm serious about this and like you know it's it's beyond that it's beyond a uh, language when we see money highest uh, language is not something that we are bothered about uh, narcos the language is not an issue <laughs> yeah. you you mentioned about uh, family man too for example and uh, language definitely is 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 not an aberration uh do you feel that maybe the time that that danny sa was in maybe it was uh, more accepting more more inclusive in terms of the idea of india mm-hmm. than maybe what it is now yeah and also like uh, bollywood wasn't that old you know so and he belongs to an institute fti he had friends like amitabh bachchan and he had friends like you know many other industry people i don't know i don't know what it takes for us to be uh, you know to be part of that league uh like from my experience you know it just that the writers like for example i'll just give you an example of how my audition uh, script comes like they'll say ki oh this 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 year oh, you know such and such girl from manipur or nagaland or from assam you know and uh, she is an officer she da 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 da, da like a description comes like that but when i read the scene of that girl it's it's not a not eastern girl it's someone from uh, punjab like the character breakdown doesn't match the person from the north east you know it it will have little slight changes a girl from uh, you know a chennai would be different from a girl from kashmir or you know so i think it lacks a little bit of understanding and uh, you know in the writing also to wo sab thoda rehta hai so i think it's uh, you know to do a little research and uh, you know it boils down to being aware of the other culture is what i feel and respecting the other cultures yes that's the key